So it kind of appears as if there are some rifts starting to form within the Republican Party, and this is all over Donald Trump's claim of election fraud and that the election was stolen from him by Democrats. Um, now you have establishment-oriented Republicans who are kind of just biting their tongues. They know that Donald Trump is a psychopath, but they don't want to say anything to criticize Donald Trump because they know that, you know, the heart and soul of the Republican Party the base, it lies with Donald Trump. So if they say something, they risk alienating their own base. Um, and then you have individuals who do embrace Donald Trump, the Kelly Loeflers and Marjorie Taylor Greens of the world who are part of this MAGA cult. And so what you see are two different factions within the Republican Party. So the question is, will this end up leading to intra-party warfare comparable to the warfare that we see on the Democratic Party side, where you see the Democratic Party establishment fight against the progressive left? And, you know, there's a lot of implications about this. But first of all, I want to show you what some MAGA chuds are saying with regard to the Republican Party's response to Trump's voter fraud claims. Because outside of the, uh, I believe, Georgia legislator, you had some Trump supporters uh, lashing out at Republicans like the uh, governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, or Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger because they're not playing ball with Donald Trump when he cries fraud. Now, when I say they're not playing ball, what I mean in actuality is that they're not allowing Trump to just outright steal the election. Uh, so they don't like that, uh, and they're not accepting anything but a Trump victory. So listen to what they say, at least one Trump supporter says, and the response from the crowd when he says, uh, you better play ball with us, help Donald Trump, or we will destroy you. Take a look. And if Republican traitors like Kemp are not willing to show up for us, and Mitt Romney, and Mitt Romney, <laughs> and the rest of them, then we will not be willing to show up for them. Yeah. 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 is a traitor. Yeah. 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 Do they think that we're just going to go away? No! Stop the steal! For any Republicans not explicitly helping Trump to stop this deal, we will make sure you are never elected ever again. Yeah! yeah. To the Republicans that are easily bullied into compliance by the left, we will finish you. Yeah! We will end your career forever. We're the new GRB! If the Republican establishment stands back and stands by and allows this deal to go through, we will do whatever it takes to completely destroy the Republican Party. We forever. the people! Yeah! We will not accept mere investigations that go nowhere. We will not accept nothing less but a Donald Trump victory. Yeah! Fake audits and fake recounts like what's happening here in Georgia. Bullshit. We will accept nothing left but Donald Trump for another four years. Yeah. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. I mean, he lost, bro. What do you want him to do? What do you want Brian Kemp to do? Like, realistically speaking, what do you expect? I think we know what they expect. They want the results to be overturned in Georgia. Now, they uh, say that Republicans that did not show up for Trump were traitors who were complicit in some alleged scheme. Again, I mean, these folks, they just have to think about this longer than a minute or two, and they'll see why their claims are ridiculous. Because when you have far-right Trump supporters like Marjorie Taylor Greene win her election in Georgia in a landslide, why would Democrats rig the presidential race but forget to rig the House and Senate races? Like, it doesn't make any sense, but they want loyalty. That's what they're saying. Um, and it's not just the Republican Party establishment uh, who they're pissed off by. Now, uh, they're mad at Fox News as well because they feel as if Fox News, by trying to pretend to be a serious news outlet, has betrayed them. And this MAGA chud is going to explain why he is outraged by Fox News and even Tucker Carlson. So we know there's a fraud. There's no question. And I don't know about you, but I was awfully disappointed yesterday with Tucker Carlson. Did yeah. anybody see that? Yeah. I 
mean, what the hell? We expect better. We do. And you know something? On election night, it was Fox News that first called Arizona prematurely for Biden. It was Fox News that refused to carry President Trump's press conference two days after the election. And we expect that from the liberal media, of course. We expect that from CNN and MSNBC and every other network. But we are the people that are watching Fox News and they betrayed us. And I'll tell you, I have been a fan of Tucker Carlson for a long time. Yep. He has said things that a lot of people are afraid to say. Yep. And he has given a voice to a variety of conservatism, which I think most people in the country agree with strongly. And after Fox News called Arizona prematurely for Joe Biden, I said, I will never watch Fox News again. Yep. Never. Yeah. I said, but maybe Tucker is okay. But since the election, what has Tucker Carlson been talking about? Where are you? The day after the election, he was talking about how the polls are really fake. Really? The polls are fake? We've known that for five years. We've known that for decades. The polls are fake. The polls are fake. The ballots are fake. And the ballots are what decides the election. Why don't you talk about that? True. And last week, he's talking about how, well, the Democrats didn't fare so well because defund the police isn't good political messaging. Talking about the political messaging of the left, we're in the fight of our lives. So they are genuinely unhinged, and this is worrying. Um, Now, there's this question of how long will this rift last? Like, is this going to lead to a greater rift within the Republican Party? And I think that's a possibility uh, or a likelihood, actually, at this point. Will this be great for the Democratic Party? Because, you know, you see Republicans and their base not showing up to support them at the polls. What can we expect for this? And even though at face value, it might seem as if this is good for the left and Democrats. In actuality, I worry that this will facilitate another shift to the right for the Republican Party, if you can even imagine that, because we saw what happened when a rift emerged within the Republican Party in the early 2010s with the Tea Party movement. And it wasn't as if that rift lasted for a while. I mean, sure, they primaried a couple of Republican establishment figures successfully, but ultimately the Republican Party ended up co-opting and absorbing the Tea Party. And now the Republican Party looks like the Tea Party. They are part of the Republican Party's base. And sure, the overall Tea Party message has been watered down a little bit, but they are one cohesive unit. So the thing that worries me about this rift is that, you know, Republicans, they're not going to be like the Democratic Party establishment and try to, you know, isolate and delegitimize and marginalize the MAGA chuds and MAGA cultists. My fear is that they're going to embrace the MAGA chuds and more and more the party is going to look like Donald Trump. I mean, it already kind of does, where you have individuals like Lindsey Graham openly trying to invalidate the the results of elections in certain counties, cancel millions, potentially, of votes. This is different than just them trying to suppress the vote. That in and of itself is scandalous. But now there are some Republicans openly calling for the cancellation of votes following Trump's lead. So I don't necessarily think that this rift that we're seeing is going to lead to, you know, this clash between the Republican establishment and MAGA chuds. I think that what we're going to see is the Republican Party bend to the will of the Trump cultists, because unlike the Democratic Party establishment, the Republican Party establishment is horrified of their base. They are always trying to appease their base, throwing more red meat to the base, being more extreme to appease their xenophobic and racist base. So when you have a lot of MAGA chuds who seemingly want the Republican Party to shift even 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 further to the right, I mean, I, I can't help but worry about what's to come. Now, you know, that MAGA chud in that video we talked about, he was outraged at Tucker Carlson for daring to ask Sidney Powell for evidence that millions of votes were switched. But what did Tucker Carlson ultimately do? He did a 180. He backtracked and claimed that the election was rigged days later. Yeah. So do we honestly just expect the Republicans 
to let this rift form and let it cause them to lose elections? Do we believe that Fox News is all of a sudden going to lose ground to Newsmax and OAN, who's going to cater more to Trump supporters? No. We've seen these types of rifts in the Republican Party emerge before, and we've seen how it played out. The Tea Party is one of many examples. Think of the NRA. When gun owners of America started to, you know, encroach on the NRA's territory and siphon off some of their memberships and attack NRA, what happened? Well, the NRA, they took a more hardline approach to gun regulations, and any and all regulations were all of a sudden off the table because they felt that pressure from gun owners of America. And that's how they kept their hegemony, you know, in this sphere of politics. And I think the same is going to happen with Fox News. Like a lot of people are thinking, well, at least Fox News is going to be discredited now since, you know, Trump supporters are mad at them. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think they're going to become more like OAN and Newsmax. Like, I think that there is a higher likelihood that the MAGA chuds can remake the Republican Party and, you know, Republican adjacent organizations such as Fox News in their image quicker than the left can remake the Democratic Party in their own image. And that should worry everyone, because what does that mean? If MAGA chuds get their way and they win this civil war pretty easily, which I think is possible, I mean, we see a more far-right Republican Party. The Republicans from 10 years ago look completely different than the MAGA chuds we see today. I mean, compare Sarah Palin to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Remember when we all thought that Sarah Palin was like, appalling the fact that the Republican Party could produce someone as crazy as this. Now you look to Sarah Palin and she looks like a moderate compared to Marjorie Taylor Greene or Kelly Loeffler. So the party is going to continue shifting right because that's where the base is. Whereas the Democratic Party, they don't really care about what their base wants because they know that you know Republicans are so bad, you're going to support them no matter what. So, you know, I'm not necessarily optimistic that this rift is going to hurt the Republican Party. I'd love for that to be the case, but I don't think that's going to be what happens. I think ultimately this will make the Republican Party overall more crazy as they absorb the Trump cultists and try to, you know, uh, I don't know, if not placate them, then outright embrace their ideas. And, you know, that's why we're not seeing many Republicans speak up and admit the obvious that Joe Biden won this election, or at least it took them a while because they don't want to offend the Trump supporters because Trump has a very high approval rating within the Republican Party. Again, he has the heart and soul of the Republican Party's base. So, you know, I would love, 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 love to see a split in the Republican Party. But I, I just think that the Republican Party is more savvy than Democrats and they won't allow this to happen and they'll find some way to accommodate the Trump cultists. Which means that, you know, if Republicans shift further to the right, Democrats will likely follow them to the right because that's what Democrats have been doing for decades now. So, you know, I'm worried. I hope that I'm wrong. But I fear that this ultimately is going to have a negative impact um, on the country if MAGA chuds do remake the Republican Party in their image. They'll be more extreme if you could even imagine that. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous. And he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.